Hey all here I am again with another video for V4 and today we will talk about Boomblade skill builds and not just particularly any skill builds but we'll talk about high level skill builds because as the game progresses more and more people are having more resources to upgrade their skills and there are some skills that are more efficient than others as they're being upgraded so first I'd like to kind of emphasize a really big thing that majority of the people seem to kind of dismiss early on and that would be the uh, blue skill books. So the blue skill books are Dazzle, Watch Your Feet, and Troll Time. What, what a lot of people do, uh, do is kind of ignore the other benefits that they have rather than just the plain percentage damage uh, there are other a lot of uh, factors for um, for emphasizing these three skills uh, one important factor is as your level goes higher their cooldown goes lower uh, right now you're, you're seeing might be 15 seconds 14 seconds this is while i am in turbulence i'm probably uh so my my screen right now is showing while in turbulence but uh every skill level is getting roughly 0.6 seconds if i recall correctly so now we don't have turbulence let me try to refresh it let's see okay so now here's without the turbulence right a level 8 dazzle is 21.4 seconds uh a watcher feet at level 9 20.6 seconds and then a turtle time at level 10 is 22 seconds so as you should know uh, they the each level up their cooldown go, goes lower not only that the bonus attack damage increases um, and these this bonus attack damage is nothing to scuff at because uh, when you actually see them in action they do a lot more damage than my other skills the, this one almost pretty much cleared the whole HP right um, so there there you just saw the three different blue skills out there and then here's the normal skill uh which barely does half right so and even then if you think about it may, maybe there's a connecting skill uh but it, it overall the blue the blue skill usually are stronger and not only that uh what people probably don't understand is the blue skills have very fast animation and after you cast them you can usually auto attack immediately so um that's just one thing i'd like to emphasize you should definitely uh, upgrade your blue skills i started using them when i was around level four on each of them uh just because it kind of made my combat and af my farming more fluid uh you, you usually you cast them and then just do a few auto attacks and then move on or or just cast them and then the enemy dies immediately so that's kind of uh one of the very positive thing about uh the blue skills uh they have very fast animation and that allows you to weave in a lot more normal attacks so don't snooze in them I understand that uh, um, the link skills seem to be very looks like very strong, but uh, there's a lot of other things that you're missing out if you're not using the blue skills, especially if you're not leveling them up. So, uh, with that uh, out of the way, I'd like to uh, show you how I do my skill builds and depending on the situation I have different sets for different skill builds so first thing I would say is probably the most uh, asked one is what do you use for combat or uh, for bosses so that, let's get that out of the way because a lot of people probably are just looking into that so this is probably one of the later end games sets that you would do uh you have the three blue skills and then you have whirlwind that connects with circle leap and not done yet that connects with blindsided however you will only take this set 
if you have um, blindsided with go time additional. So this is one of the ra very rare skill builds. Um, but a lot of people should know if you have read your um, talent tree, if you have read your talent tree, there is a power surge here, which increases the duration of the enhancing effects by five seconds, right? So um, I make good use of that by having the set that links to circle leap which has bolt which increases attack by three percent and basically this is a 10 second buff and then the same thing with here with the dot done yet now a lot of people are gonna say well i don't have that yes they yeah that that is correct this is one of the very rare skill builds so what i usually said uh you i used to use before getting that skill book is i used to have a uh, bang 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 that links with the you're gonna get it and these are the main skill set that i do uh and what i do, usually do is i cast whirlwind first so that it will connect with the circle leap and then the circle and then now all my attacks have enhanced attack right so that's my boss setup uh, ahead of time another substitute that you could do um, is crisscross with decrease cooldown and you could replace if you don't feel like you like the whirlwind set you could use um, crisscross with coming in hot with these skill sets um, and the, one of the main reasons for that is because uh, this has very fast animation usually. So when you do all these skill combinations, they usually have fast animation. Um, this one has bang 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 kind of has a little slower animation. However, it makes up for the fact that it has 500% uh, percent, uh, at level 3 only, right? So it has very high uh, base skill percentage. So that is my boss sets. Now let us talk about farming because that is one of the most uh, one of the most varying and probably one of the most important things that you could set up on because majority of the time you're just gonna be farming anyways. If you're just AFK farming with and the monsters are about roughly your level where basically it takes like three skills or so or four to kill them then you uh i would go with the these skill builds just because this one has high base attack and then this one has fast kind of one of the faster animations in my opinion um you could definitely use crisscross also with spatial leap because that kind of makes you go around faster and i think those are the main skill set that i use uh four level enemies that has roughly the same level as me where basically it takes time there are i do have different skill set if it's enemies that i can kill within three hits and then enemies that i can kill within one hit auto attack within three auto attacks versus one auto attack so for the skills where I just kill the enemy in one hit, I usually just switch into crisscross and then I turn off the coming in hot and then I use up and atom and then I turn uh, I use the spatial leap and then big blow. And this one it doesn't really matter which one you use if you're just killing them in one hit anyway. Uh, and these three are the ones that I use and then I remove the other two. I remove the other two. I don't know. I don't use the other two because if the enemy is just getting killed by one hit, then I can just auto attack them and they, they'll die fast. If you have troll time and the uh, spatial leap for for twirl time i would add that in as well basically your goal is to just jump around as fast as as around uh as fast as you can now if the enemy dies within three auto attacks not one but three auto attacks i start putting in 
other skill builds uh the fat the very fast ones are watch your feet and troll time so i use these three and then i use the watch your feet and troll time so any anytime i use the skill because of their 300 percent attack damage right they will die uh the enemies will die within those three auto attacks anyways and the same thing with watch your feet and uh, troll time uh there's also on somewhat an alternative um watch your feet is definitely the fastest um skill that you would uh that you could use because you can just it'll just use it and then you'll immediately auto attack it's so fast uh, uh um instead if they're kind of aoe a little bit if if you if there's some aoe i also i switch um the twirl time with this might sting so so that the this might sting kind of does some aoe and kind of hits some monsters that are next to each other The next skill build that I will show you is the AoE set. Now the AoE set is uh, very, uh, it, it's very interesting. I think the core are this might sting with the AoE uh, space compression that, that that will leave the AoE and fireworks. This is one of the core and not done yet with an aoe here and then this one is you know anything here um you know if you have the go time then i would use the go time but then uh you could use shatter weak point and bang 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 these are the core that i would say and then uh depending on how the enemy is somewhat placed um i would use with up and adam with the aoe on that or you could use the watcher head um this one is also somewhat aoe however i i do find better use at abadam so if i have to go to a mob where it takes me probably four auto attacks or five auto attacks or more i switch to and then there's a lot of clustered mob mobs then i will switch to this skill build i will show a clip of how efficient this skill build is and you just see why uh, I use I choose to use this uh, skill build now let's talk about afk farming uh so this afk farming varies depending on your purpose how long you're gonna how long you're gonna afk and such majority of the time i just use the blue the three blue skills plus these right however sometimes i sw i start adding in what do you call the leech build as i would say and I will start, I start using big blow. So these two skills, I, I use big blow with a HP recovering uh, skill set. And same with up atom with an HP recovering uh, the, the revitalize. And these kind of help me AFK longer and not use a lot of HP pots and instead focus on just putting a lot of mp pots so typically uh right now i am i am at 382k cp and i am at 179k however i actually don't i've been at 175 hp pot count for about at least an hour now or so uh so basically i this allows me to just pretty much focus on uh the mp so it depends where you are farming though um sometimes you might need to slot in more depending depending on how long you want to afk sometimes you might want to slot in more of the leech 
skill build and that is with over your head that links with small blow and then you put in the leech uh the revitalized there so that's kind of um how i said it and then additional skill build that i do have is um when i just want to focus on a single mob because sometimes you want to afk however you only uh want to attack one mob you don't want anything else and that is when i start using a uh, boat whirlwind and then i also add small blow uh you could also use big blow um but i, I would prefer small blow because it has a link skill and then um sometimes if you want to save hp pots uh your purple skill book does help because if it stuns the enemy then you will start saving some pots and i actually use this on merchants wish to right now when i'm farming elites on the c route of desire i actually use high jump or uh because th it saves me pots by having by stunning the mobs so uh those are basically the different skill build sets that i use um if there's anything to take away from it leveling up your blue skills these blue skills again don't look don't just look at the percentage look at the cooldowns look at the bonus attack and look at how fast they are because they uh, as soon as you cast them you can just move immediately and those millisecond differences add up over time